Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great Halloween season. Today, I wanted to do something different. Usually I have rankings, and uh, I decided for fun, we'll do a tier list of horror film franchises. So here, let me go to Tier Maker, and we have the ratings set up for us. S for Satisfactory, A, B, C, D, E, F, and then Don't Know, Don't Remember, or I Haven't Seen. Uh, for the purpose of this video, we're going to keep it, but let's look at the franchises. We have The Exorcist, The Thing. It's a lot of them. Resident Evil, Fly, Scare Movie, Nightmare on Elm Street, Alien, The Omen, Blade. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Uh, Jurassic Park, even. Okay. Uh, I think I could put the main three under uh, Satisfying. Let's see. And then do they have Halloween? Halloween's up there. I would put Friday the 13th, even though those movies aren't the best made. That series just gets better and better before the New Line Cinema run. So I definitely like 2, 3, and Final Chapter. I mean, it's Jason. That kind of has to be up there. Um... They have Halloween? Did I miss Halloween? Surely I haven't. Halloween. There we go. Well, we can put Halloween up there, definitely. Even though we have kind of a requel now. Those three are the main three slasher films. Um, I'm going to put Scream up there. Where does Scream go? Scream was here, but it moved. I'm going to put Alien under A. The first two are definitely satisfying, but 3 and Resurrection aren't as strong, so that's why. Same thing with Resident Evil. Resident Evil probably would have been up there, but I'm going to put that under B, because the movies went so far off from the games, and it just became silly. Um... The Fly, I actually like The Fly. That can go up there. Well, I'll do A, because I forgot about the original Flies, too. Uh, Children of the Corn, Human Centipede, Jaws. Psycho's going up there. That will be under A. There would be no Halloween or Scream without Psycho. Uh, Final Destination I probably have under B. They kind of went down in quality. Lost Boys will be an A. Evil Dead's going to be up there. And, yep. I love Evil Dead. Oh, The Thing. Both the original and John Carpenter remake. Okay. And then we have The Exorcist. That's going up there. And then... Hmm. Scary Movie was really well done in the first couple of entries. So I'm going to just put that on B. And that's mainly because of the Waynes Brothers films. Blade is hands down an A. That would have been higher up if it wasn't for Blade Trinity. If it was the first two or three Insidious, the last one kind of took it down a notch, but I love all those films. Let's see. Evil Bong. Never seen it. So don't know, don't remember. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Don't remember, even though I heard of it. Human Centipede. That was kind of scary, so. Late Pass. It's good. I put that under C. The Howling is definitely going to go up in A. Scanners. Wishmaster. I've seen the first one of those, so let's see. Candyman B. Silent Night, Deadly Night. I haven't seen it. Boogeyman, I don't know. What is that one?
Camp Blood. Haven't seen it. Okay. Fright Night is definitely going up in A. That's a classic. Children of the Corn. Beware of the Blob. I don't remember that one. I remember the Blob. I don't know Beware of the Blob. Omen. That's going up there. Spit on your grave. Don't know. Feast. Ginger Snaps is a crazy ass werewolf movie. So that's going up there. Um, then we have Open Water. That's an A. That was kind of crazy with the sharks. The Hitcher is a classic. That is underrated. Needs a HD re release. Cloverfield, I like the first two, but that third one knocked it down. I know what you did last summer. It can go and be. I like the first one, the second one, not so much. And then there's I always know what you did last summer. Creep Show is an A. Critters is good, but it's kind of like a B movie, so I'll put that on B. Night of the Demons, don't remember. Shake, Rattle, and Roll, don't remember. Hostile was crazy, that ending. ABC is a death I like, so. I like horror anthologies. It's like VHS or Rec. Amiva Horror, the original one can have an A. Margot Kidder's in that. Lois Lane from the original Superman. Brotherhood, I don't remember. Terror Tunes, I don't remember. Anaconda. Anaconda is good, but that's going to go around C. Trimmers. I like the first couple of Trimmers. Kevin Bacon's in the original. Then you have Fred Ward. Or Fred Willard, I mean. I get them confused. Fred Willard from Remo Williams and... Uh, to Fred Ward. Anyway, you have Remo Williams in it. Hellraiser. I want to put that on A, but the later ones are kind of bad. I'm going to do something controversial and put on C, but that's no testament to the first two or three films. First two or three Hellraisers are amazing, but the rest, kind of crap. Hills Have Eyes. I'm going A. Child's Play is going to go up there. It's Chucky. Jaws is going to go up there with the greats. Joyride. Uh, put that on C. Wrong Turn. Put that on C. Let's see as far as horror film franchises. Return of the Living Dead. Remember, From Dust Till Dawn. As far as a franchise, it's going to go down in B because of the sequels. Straight to video. If it was a series, I definitely would have put up there, but or the first movie, but um, yeah. B. It's not, some of the ones below it are better than Reanimator, but that's such like a B movie that I have to put it up there. Creature from the Black Lagoon, that's going to go up there, A. Cold Prey, don't remember. You want to remember Jeepers Creepers, Semi Star. No, <laughs> any Mr. Show fans out there? Okay, Ghoulies. I want to say I remember it, but I don't. Cabin Fever. Up there with B. The Gingerbread Man, Basket Case. Oh, Carrie's going up there in A. Carrie, that's a crazy movie. Remake's okay. Mega Shark. I'm just going to take the ones I'm not familiar with out of the equation so it'll make the rest of the night easier. One, one missed call. Now I'm thinking of when a stranger calls. Paranormal Activity would have been up there, but that's going to go a D just how the last ones were. The first two Paranormal Activities are great. Marked ones I thought was okay, but three, five, and six, or four and six. Now, there was a fourth one before the marked ones. That one was boring with the Xbox Connect. Poltergeist is going up there with the greats. They're here. Nigh the Living Dead's going up there with the greats. There's Scream. I found Scream. I found it. Okay. And then uh, Scream. What's your favorite scary movie? That's going up there. Prime Night. Uh, probably up there. B. It's a good classic horror film. Cube, I'm not familiar with. Subspecies, I'm not familiar with. Wreck, 
Rex going up there. I may have that. I have that with the ABCs of death. And then the VHS is what will be up there. Puppet Master. Hey, those are kind of a guilty pleasure, but. Uh, yeah, th those films get really bad. <laughs> Ooh. The Mummy is going up there. The last film kind of killed it, but the Boris Karloff and the Brennan Fraser runs put it up there for me. VHS is definitely going up there. Wait, did I put it under A or... Yeah, okay. Sharknado. Uh, Sharknado's crap. I'm sorry. I don't like those movies. They're supposed to be bad, but damn. Predator. Oh. If it was the first two movies... I actually like Predator more than I do Alien, but uh, they have more bad films. So I'm going to put it under B. I just say I'm... Yeah, especially with the last Predator movie. That was just horrible. Blair Witch. Blair Witch will probably go on A. Uh, found Footage. Third one's kind of like it, but Book of Shadows. While not the Blair Witch Project, is I think an underrated film. Pumpkinhead. Uh, let's see. Ouija. Wasn't really a fan of Ouija. The Purge is going up there. Silence of the Lambs. Oh, that's liver and fava beans with a nice Chianti. <laughs> okay, Jurassic Parks. Oh, well, I'm going to count Jurassic Park. Even though Jurassic World's in the same series, I think of it as a different. Jurassic Park, the trilogy, is pretty solid. Troll. Trolls. Oh my god! That's crap. Uh... <laughs> Leprechaun scared me as a kid, but I'll probably put that under D. Jennifer Aniston was in the first one, but I love Warwick Davis. That's going under A. Conjuring is the best exorcism type of film since Exorcism of Emily Rose in the original Exorcist. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oof, that one's scary. I think it's a B, but I might have to put it up there as far as slasher films. It's just Leatherface is with Freddy, Jason, and Michael. There's a lot of films here. Creep. I'll take the ones I don't know. That way I make it faster. Sleepaway Camp has one of the most fucked up endings I've ever seen. That's going up there. Uh, Underworld. I like Underworld a lot, but the sequels kind of let that series down. Even though I like the last one. Happy Death Day. That's okay. I'll put that under B. Hatchet. Not familiar with. Urban Legend. Urban Legend's going to go up there with the... I'll put it here. The Woman in Black. I don't know if that's like... I haven't seen the original. So, yeah. It. I'll put it under A. I like it. Pennywise didn't scare me as much as Tim Curry in the original, so that's why it's a little bit lower. Zombieland's going up there. Zombieland's great. Okay. Sil <sighs> the second Silent Hill's bad, but the first one's good enough to put it up there. It's one of the best video game adaptations, but uh, I might put it under A because the second one just knocked it down. The first one's classic. See no evil. It's house. I don't remember that. I'm just gonna take the ones I don't remember. Bird Demic's a steaming pile of shit that's gone down there. Gremlins will go up there. I like Gizmo in them. Gremlins is one of the old times. Oh, wait, that's still a list. Okay, Invasion of the Body Snatchers is definitely going up there. Inspire the Invasion and Puppet Masters, and yeah, Donald Sutherland one's great. Piranha, that's uh, going down there. 47 meters down. I'll just put it here. The first one wasn't too bad. The House on Haunted Hill. Put that under A. Jack Frost. I remember seeing that. You remember the VHS that had the snowman and then it had like an evil snowman when it changed like a lenticular cover? That's going under B-movies. It's kind of like a guilty pleasure. Thanks, Killin'. My Bloody Valentine's going up there. Both the original remake are good. Mm. I don't know that one. 
Black Christmas. I wonder if that was like the original. I don't know. Pet Cemetery. Saw. Saw. And then, um, The Descent. I am aware of it, but I don't really remember. Don't remember. Sinister is going up there. Jesus Christ, that film scared me. Pet Cemetery. It's up there. I'm a big Stephen King fan. Ghostbusters is one of the all-time greats. I'm not counting the 2016 reboot. That was a crappy remake. And it's not a sexist thing. Like, if it was men and it had the same story, it'd still be a Stephen Paul crap. AVP, I put on C. I like the first one. Haunted House, probably D. I like the second one more than I do the first. Uh, Unfriended, uh, that was a Steam Impala. That, uh, that disappointed me. They could have done so much with that. Goosebumps. If it's a movie, I haven't seen the second one, but I'll do that. Frankenstein's one of the all-time greats. Okay. The Shining is one of the all-time greats. Here's Johnny. Am I right? Okay, The Dentist, I'm not sure of. Okay, go up there. Okay, Dracula, Bela Lugosi, 1931, one of the all-time greats. Okay. Waxwork, I'm not sure of. Contracted, I'm not sure of. Chrome School, I'm not sure of. Tales from the Hood, that is good. We're going to put that under... Say A, yeah. Like that and Tales from the Dark Side. Dark Man is underrated. The sequel's not so much, so... Oof. I'll put that under B. I was going to be an A, but I didn't like the sequels as much. Babysitter is an A. That is a great horror comedy. 28 Days Later is definitely an A. It's up there. The Invisible Man. All-time greats. The Messengers. I don't remember that one. Chud. I didn't like Chud, so... I don't remember that. The Prophecy. Uh... That's going to go under their C. If it would have been B with the earlier ones, but that has so much sequels. Strangers is an underrated movie with Liv Tyler. That's going to be under A. That is an underrated movie. House of a Thousand Corpses. I put that under C. It's a good horror film. I just not my cup of tea. I don't remember Wolf Creek. The boy was kind of creepy, but it wasn't the best, so I'll just put that under E. E. House of Dark Shadows. Grizzly. I don't know some of these, so I'm just going to take the ones I don't know. Dead Snow. Grave Encounters. That seemed like a messed up movie. That happy together. But I haven't seen it. Salem's Lot is up there with A. I like that one and the TNT one. Wonderful novel by Stephen King. Toxic Avenger. Not the best movie. I was going to put it as a B, but uh, we'll do C. That'd be a in between. Don't breathe. Oh, yeah. I remember that movie. That was crazy. Yeah. See No Evil. I want to say I remember seeing this, but I don't. Hollow Man was good. We'll put it under, under A. And The Ring. The first ring was really good. Uh, wait, where's The Ring? Oh, I didn't take it. The Ring. I might put... That's a high B. The sequels. Phantasm's scary, so I'll put that under A. Well, that's my ranking tier. It doesn't really make too much sense, but under the greats, I have Nightmare Friday 13th, Halloween Psycho the Thing, Evil Dead Exorcist, Invisible Man. Like you can see here. And then these should be up here. I almost feel like changing it. 
Well, you know what? Hmm. As a franchise, actually, I'm going to switch the Lost Boys because there's a second and third film, but really, that that's the first film. And then, if I counted just the 80s movies, it'd definitely be up there. But still, it's a high A. And Fright Night, I love the first two, but then the remake and the straight-to-video sequel kind of knocked it down for franchise. But if it's just the first two, it'd be up there. Yeah, most of these are because the sequels kind of let it down, or I'm just not, it's just not my cup of tea. But, uh, yeah, interesting horror franchise. There's a lot of these I haven't seen here. Black Christmas, I've seen the original, but I don't know if that's the same Black Christmas or not. I haven't seen the new one. Anyway, that is my tier list. Thank you all for watching. Uh, feel free to let me know what your favorite horror film franchises are of all time. And, uh, yeah, until next time, remember to wear a mask. It's a season of Halloween. Stay safe and healthy. The mask isn't for you. It's to protect the people you care about. And remember to register to vote. In the meantime, you can subscribe to my channel and check out these other videos for more content. Till next time.